Hi VC, how you doing? This is a regular update. Um, kind of, sorta. Uh, anyway, first, second uh, video I've made, first update I've made of 2014. So glad to be out of 2013. It wasn't as horrible as I thought it was going to be, but I'm just glad it's gone. I don't know. I never had a good feeling about 2013, and 2014 I couldn't care less about. So, um, so anyway, let's get right to the music. Shall we? Um, first off, some thank yous. Uh, number one to Douglas Miles Clark for uh, sending me his most recent CD, which is kind of playing in the background. And I'm hoping I won't be sued for that or <clears throat> be it with a third party blah 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 from YouTube. I don't know. It's, you never know. I'm gonna, uh, it's, it, Honestly, giving it my first listen right now, because I've just been really kind of busy and kind of been in another place and I haven't, and then if, you know, it's sitting right here and I just you know, didn't grab it and all of a sudden today it's like, yeah, it's sunny out, I want something new and different. I go, oh yeah, I got this, so I want to listen to it. And I, I really like all the other CDs you sent me, uh, Douglas, and uh, this is just another one I can hear just from the first track. I really like this. Uh, so I can't wait to dig into it even further. I'm going to include the Bandcamp um, uh, link down below in the description so people can go to it and check it out. Uh, but thank you. This was such a nice uh, VCLT gift CDLT uh, to just suddenly pop up in my mail. I really appreciate it. So uh, anyway, it's the music that's going on in the background. If you can hear it at all, I don't know. But uh, yeah. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Um, so what else did I get? Let's stick with CDs. Uh, I picked up uh, our very own uh, Chris... I was going to say Chris Oliver, but I know that's not it. I'm sorry. Holy Ruse. Chris, I apologize. The brain. I slept in today. I woke up. Uh, I'm still half asleep. But I, I picked up his new CD. Uh, this is great. There's one. There's only one track that's like, you know, to me. Uh, but the rest of it is like, ah, this is great. And maybe it's just, I mean, as a whole, the album is fantastic. Great packaging, I think, done by Chris himself, which is just phenomenal. Great job. Um, I will also include the, uh, the link uh, for Bandcamp for you to nab this guy as well. Uh, great psych music, uh, always on that kind of side of things, and uh, I really, really love this. It's great. Wish it was on vinyl, colored vinyl, swirly colored vinyl. So, <laughs> uh, some other one other CD that I picked up recently that I just think is great. Jacob, who works at a, uh, he's not he doesn't post YouTube videos, but he works at uh, a local record store, Silver Platters. He suddenly, just out of nowhere, sent me this link, or, or I don't know what he sent me, it's a message, something like that, and said, oh, have you heard? And no, I have not heard of The Steps. And uh, he particularly, specifically pointed out this particular um, comp, uh, to this comp of their work. And as you can see, if you could read that, it's from 83 to 97, uh, Green Velvet Electric. And it's on Cherry Red Records. Again, wish this was on vinyl be fantastic but the music on it is terrific just great psych pop um, it's when you listen to it from start to finish from disc one to disc two all the way through it sounds like a band that started in 67 and then ended like in 75 or 74 something like that it was going through my head as the as the end of the second disc was progressing because it started it started off on that kind of like a psych sound psych feel uh, very much uh, psych sound psych to psych pop uh, and then just sort of progressed into keeping elements of that psych but also going into that early 70s kind of sound uh, almost a US kind of um, early 70s sound so you can imagine that's a pretty good combination and uh, worth picking up uh, you can it's it's a relatively new CD I think it came, I'm sure it just came out last year yes it did and uh, 2013 but, so it's available e relatively easy to get uh, I found this one on Amazon. I think I got it on uh, 
Well, I went to Amazon and looked at the third party sellers and got it for a phenomenal price. So look there. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Um, let's move up in size to, <laughs> to a few other things. Uh, these are some things. The rest of it is going to be, I'm just going to go and grab, I'm just going to, oh, wait. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, this is going to be the number two thing that I did. Chris, thank you very much. Mono switch in hand, obviously not hooked up. Uh, but thank you so much for putting this together and sending one out to me. Um, I will be. This will be a project that I will connect and hook up in the near future. Uh, I've got other things that I need to do first before I can do that because I'm going to be rearranging things and rearranging music and building some more expedits and then rearranging where my turntable is. And I don't want to do this until all that's set up. And so when I do that, I will do a little hey, look, it's working and all that. So can't wait to do that. Thank you very, very much, Chris, um, Dixie Land Farms, for uh, making this and sending it out. Much appreciated. It's just terrific. Um, that, that, that. Um, you know, a bunch of stuff I've pointed out on Facebook recently, and I'm just not going to go over those things. I should. I just can't remember what I have and what I haven't pointed out memory but yesterday I picked up a few things um, went to Jive Time Records and to Sonic Boom and grabbed at, at uh, Jive, Jive Time grabbed a few 45s one being Supergrass made in the USA or made in USA it's, it's a sub pop release this is almost like a, just a, a cardboard a somewhat thick cardboard cover and it's die cut there as you can see the back of it is a strange flap, and the person who owned it before kind of tore it as they were pulling it out. Let me pull it out real quick because it's a, as you can all, all sort of show you that it, see, it's sort of been torn there when they when they went to get it pulled out. They weren't, whoever owned it before was so excited to get this vinyl out and get this record out. They actually tore the cover. But uh, let me pull this guy out, and you can see the actual 45 alone without its outer shell. Haven't listened to this yet. I just saw Supergrass and I grabbed it because um, I really like Supergrass. And it's on lovely transparent yellow vinyl on that Sub Pop label. Uh, Caught by the Fuzz Acoustic. This is from 95. And Lose It, again from 1995. So very cool. Now I'm going to play this, and it's not the Supergrass I'm thinking of. <laughs> That's what I thought. I'm thinking, I don't think Supergrass was on Sub Pop. I don't think. But who knows? It's a cool package, but I'm pretty sure. Who else is called Supergrass? Nobody else is called Supergrass. I'll spend the time putting that back together later. Uh, another item I picked up was a single by um, Sugar. G, G Angel, one of my favorite al favorite songs, off of one of my favorite Sugar albums. File under Easy Listening, um, and it's not a standard 45 sleeve. I don't. I was trying to figure out if this was something that came out around the time. As you can see, it is a foldover type thingy from Ryko. Uh, maybe there are Sugar fans that are. Uh, it's a promo. That's why. Promo not for sale. 1995, 94, 95. Very, that's what's pretty cool about this. So here's a standard, it's on standard black vinyl. Clown Master live on the B side and then G Angel live on the A side. I gotta start using my HD camera again. But, oh well. So that is pretty cool. Very happy to get that, very happy to see that. The next thing I've got is a, a Bowie single. But I've never seen, well, I never saw this particular, I, I have, I have seen this particular sleeve for uh, Scary Monsters. I've seen it like, on, online, but I've never actually seen one in the wild. So uh, that was pretty cool. I got to grab that. I had to have this guy. And we're trying to figure out if this was a German pressing or if it was a UK pressing. And everything I could tell from the inside on the label was that it was a UK pressing. 
There's no markings on it saying that it is, it is anything other than that. Now, there's that big A in the middle, and it makes me wonder. I didn't even notice that yesterday when I was looking at this. That not that usually denote a, uh, a promo copy? I'm not sure, because there's nothing on the B side. The B side doesn't have that on it. So, usually it's promo copies that have a big A on them or something to let the, the DJ know. This is the side you play. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, I don't know. But I'm very happy to have this sleeve, which is very cool, very strange. <laughs> kind of fitting with some of the uh, artwork he's been toying with on his current album and releases on the, from his current album, and some of this, the promotional artwork for his current album. So, ah, 10 minutes, yes, I'm going for it. This is going to be a long one. And also I found, um, for those of you who are XTC fans, this is The Colonel. This is Too Many Cooks in the Kitchen, along with, uh, backed with, I Need Protection. And this is Colin Malding doing his own thing. I think Terry Chambers drums on this as well, yeah. So it's Colin Malding, Terry Chambers, uh, call, his guitar is Bob Hendry, bass is The Colonel, Colin Malding, drums Terry Chambers, keyboards Steve King, guitar Bert Larson, backing vocals Steve Warren. So it was sort of his little, you know, I'm getting, I'm going to you know, do a little something on the side, which they did on their own. You know, a lot of people would say, oh, that's actually XTC. Well, actually, it's just Colin Malding and Terry Chambers. And unlike another copy that I found and bought many years ago, uh, this one is not cracked. This one is <laughs> this one is a solid 45. Very happy for that. Yeah, I, I bought it many years ago up at a record shop up in Vancouver. Um, I'm pretty sure it was Vancouver. And uh, but this one is in one piece. Very happy about that. So yeah, 12 minutes. I'm gonna sign off here and do the rest of the stuff that I got uh, in another in another video so we can break this up. See you soon, folks. Bye. Oh, and thanks again, Douglas. It's just great. Everything I'm hearing is, I love this. I knew I would. So keep it going for the next video as well. Thanks. Bye.